Very interesting developments happening in Colorado because what started as a local gun control fight there is now getting national attention. Two Democratic state senators are now facing recall votes a week from today after each played a big role in passing tough new gun control laws in Colorado. And that apparently has some powerful Democrats and interest groups worried enough to break out their checkbooks. Columnist Michelle Malkin is a Fox News contributor, of course, and she joins us now. Uh, Michelle, welcome uh, from Colorado. Tell us what's going on in your state. It's a real David versus anti-gun Goliath battle, Martha. What we have here is an effort by grassroots citizens in Senate District 11, uh, which is uh, my hometown, my adopted hometown of Colorado Springs here, and in Pueblo. You've got two leading state Democrats who were buoyed and were promoted by national Democrats uh, to help shepherd through some massively restrictive gun laws that were not in demand among the people here. In fact, what you had was out of state interests, including the likes of New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, the Brady campaign, Gabby Giffords' husband came here and testified. And they were given a voice at a time when the state senator that you see right there, John Morse, who happens to be the president of the state Senate, was barring citizens of this state from voicing their views in opposition to these damaging gun control laws. So you had uh, grassroots citizens who gathered in a, an extraordinarily short amount of time some 16,000 signatures to recall the state Senate president and then a similar effort to recall Angela Hiron in Pueblo. And now these two are in danger of losing their jobs and facing immediate accountability. It really is a shift back to local control and we the people. And, uh, of course, the anti-Second Amendment forces around the country are very keenly interested in what's happening because they realize, just like the folks here do, that this really could be a shot heard around the world, figuratively, um, when it comes to these kinds of efforts yeah. to meddle in local decisions. It's very interesting because you have had Mayor Bloomberg and others, as you point out, who have been trying to influence a national wave, you know, against or in favor, I should say, uh, stricter gun laws. And they've been able to have a lot of influence, as you point out. But now it sounds like the people are fighting back because they want the elected officials that they put in office to carry out their promises and to behave as they were expected to behave uh, once they're in office. What about for the uh, for the governor, John Hickenlooper? And we have some numbers that we want to pull up on his approval ratings. What's the impact been on him, Michelle? Well, it's uh, slowly eroding and I think significantly eroding his popularity here. Very much like Barack Obama, John Hickenlooper is, is, Hickenlooper is somebody who has cast himself as a moderate, and it was only as recently as last year that he was admitting that these very gun laws that he signed into law were not effective, were not going to do anything to stem the kind of violence that we saw in Aurora or uh, in Newtown. Um, and yet he himself had, play, uh, had faced a lot of pressure from these outside forces. And you may recall that Joe Biden himself was lobbying our state legislators to get this through because if it's part of their larger agenda. I mean, it really is another example of the Colorado experiment to try and win here and then replicate it in other states when, uh, you know, Republicans were caught in some ways flat-footed, and they, they fought as much as they could. I think among the important policy um, issues to stress here, Martha, is the fact that this governor who cast himself as a moderate and these two state Democrats who are now facing recall were in fact responsible for extreme gun measures that are forcing uh, renowned companies from the state out of state because they're driving ammo and gun manufacturers yeah. out of our state and costing us thousands of jobs and hundreds of thousands yeah. if not millions of dollars in tax revenue. Very interesting battle with national implications uh, as you point out. Michelle Malkin, thank you very much. Much. We'll see you soon. You bet.